Everyone, welcome back to uh, my Let's Play Dominions 4. This is Sai Soldier, and I believe this is going to be episode 8, I think, assuming I'm not confused. Uh, in this episode, we are about to take out Midgard. Uh, he is right here to the north of me. Uh, looking down here at my capital, I'm going to... Uh, set some guys to do some research. Actually, um, looking around here, I may instead move that guy around and do a little bit of uh, manual site searching. Uh, hopefully I do not forget about him uh, when I'm doing things like this. I tend to uh, try to hurry along and because uh, I don't like to do all the micromanagement unless I'm in a multiplayer game where everything is highly important uh, not that uh, I consider this less play to uh, not be important but I am trying to uh, progress a little quicker and get to some of the uh, fun stuff uh, we are going to do our recruiting Got some resources to uh, use up. How many uh, troops have we got in the army? We got uh, about 23 there. Let's see here. Actually, he can actually move across uh, there. They can actually both move together. So we will first, I believe, surround uh, the province of Midgard. Build a little bit of a province defense there to protect it if uh, if he manages to attack Sesrummer, the Idol of Beasts, who radiates power. That has got to be either their pretender god or their disciple. I have no idea what kind of special uh, magic powers he might have, but either way, to be perfectly honest, I'm not terribly scared. Uh, we will go ahead and take these three provinces so he has nowhere to retreat to. And then we will take his capital. And uh, that will deal a deciding blow. Tell you what, rather than putting those points there. How much did the cons cost to recruit? A con is 140 gold. They are fairly expensive uh, commanders. These guys can lead 60 troops and they only cost 55 gold. I'm going to plop one of them out. But I still am short a little bit of gold. So we will drop that down. We will recruit a mounted commander. Even though they are nowhere near as good as the cons. I cannot do that because I don't have enough resources there. I could do it here though, I'm sure. But I would prefer to do it somewhere close to my capital. I'm not a big fan of that. Drop that down, and we will recruit a con anyways. Right here. Having more cons to uh, ferry additional troops to the front line 
is uh, never a bad thing. We are going to end this turn. How much did the uh, horsebacks cost? Huh. I'm probably doing the uh, remote site searching spell in the province. I just moved my uh, guy to do a manual search. Umidor, ah, good. I did find a uh, new magic site there. So I do have some uh, nature gem income now, hopefully. Well, it appears that... Uh, Agartha is fighting against Abyssia, or rather, Abyssia is on the defense. That did not go well for Agartha. Let's check that out. Agartha is attacking Abyssia in the Lightless Caverns. See, they do suffer a penalty from the darkness, but I thought they suffered a uh, bigger penalty than that. Um, yeah, I'm not surprised that battle didn't uh, go as uh, bad as I was expecting. Forces of Gartha. Well, the battle was in Mun. Check this one out. Agartha is attacking Abyssia in Mun. I have no doubt that Agartha has won this. Oh yeah. They kicked some booty in that one. Quit that. Now, here is one that's a little more interesting. Midgard is attacking TNG. Ah, uh, unfortunately their attack came after I moved my uh, troops out of the province. So I'm sure that I lost this. Especially after decreasing uh, my province defense. Yeah, that did not go well for me. It matters not because I am still going to annihilate Midgard. TNG is attacking Midgard. Here. This is a battle that is going to go a little more in my favor. Is he spitting poison at me? Probably a few more blessings than what I really need to do there, but I'd rather uh, go overboard than uh, not enough. Sermon of Courage, at least there's something different. Yeah, go ahead and kill all the militia. I really do not care. They are nothing but fodder anyways. This is actually one of the better fights that I've had. I guess it would be one of the bigger fights. Now, 
in uh, Dominions 3, if you uh, gave a massive air blessing, it would give your troops uh, an air shield. And the uh, higher your air blessing was, the more powerful the air shield was. Uh, these guys would be tremendously powerful if I could give them an air blessing as well so that they wouldn't even take arrow fire but uh, in order to do that I would have to give tremendously horrible scales my scales are already bad but I would have to just give utterly terrible scales and to be honest I think uh, the balance of where I'm at now is uh, good enough uh, supply usage is at 217. I am using more supplies than what I have, so I'm going to go ahead and move in here and take over their fortress, uh, regardless of anything else. Because I do not want to disease all of my highly important ancestor vessels. And if I stick around here, they are going to starve and they will be diseased rather quickly and that is not something we want diseased ancestor vessels are of no value to me I will move this little con here into my capital province I will recruit where am I at Excuse me. I will recruit more ancestor vessels. And I will recruit a, another master of the way, I believe. Along with uh, some more of the heavy barbarian horsemen. And let's see here. Interesting. I found a uh, nature site when I did some nature site searching but apparently it does not give me uh, nature gems. looks like it's actually giving me uh, blood slaves no? Where, did my, where am I getting blood slaves at? I have no idea how I managed to get that one blood slave unfortunately the nature site I found is a pathetic little farm of plenty that gives me supply points which I care absolutely nothing about so we will set him to uh, search for magic sites and uh, we have him moving into the capital we are recruiting uh, some more guys I will have them uh, research along with him Hopefully our research is picking up uh, a little bit compared to the other uh, nations. Hopefully I'm still not, like, dead last. Well, yes, I am indeed dead last. But uh, once I take over uh, Midgard's fortress, I will hopefully be able to uh, pump out a few extra researchers. And that will uh, help catch me up. Gym income, I'm doing quite good. Income, I'm still... Oh, excuse me. Income, I'm still uh, looking fairly solid there. Forts, uh, well, I'm still pretty much dead last in forts. Uh, yeah, we're not doing too bad. We will uh, go ahead and uh, end this turn, I believe. I may... Uh, pump up the uh, province defense here a bit more pump that all the way up to 32 uh, well that should give anybody that tries to attack me there a little bit of a problem I do hope at least and uh, recruiting units I've done all that I can do there we should be good to go and uh, hopefully our units do not uh, pick up any diseases from starving down here. 
what have we got here? Oh yeah, that's the dude with the heroic obesity. Uh, Ho Jin has heroic endurance. He recovers his fatigue. That's a good one. Uh, that's quite good. Uh, of course, for a priest, is nothing great because their spells cost no uh, no fatigue at all. Anyways, heroic toughness. That's uh that's far better than heroic uh, obesity. <laughs> He's got uh, 19 hit points now, so that dude is quite tough. He's uh, equal to the guy with the heroic obesity, except he has way less encumbrance. So anyways, uh, let's uh, see how this goes with the assault on the enemy fortress. Quite a few battles this turn. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, research in Thaumaturgy was completed. I now have Thaumaturgy 4. I do also have the uh, teleport spell, which is useful when my uh, pretender does finally come this way. Um, I am going to go ahead and switch back to Conjuration. That way I can uh, start casting Voice of a Spoo and do some uh, sight searching for water. 136 research per turn. Uh, he searched for some uh, nature sites, but he didn't find anything. Uh, there was a battle against Abyssia with uh, Gartha. Looking at the losses, I would say that... Uh, Busy, I probably lost that one. A battle uh, in the Chilad Caverns. Uh, well, I have no doubt that a, a Gartha won that. Uh, Gartha is attacking Midgard. Uh, Gartha attacked in force. He's got a fairly sizable army right there. Let's uh, just see his army. Gartha is attacking Midgard. Yeah. I'm sure he did quite well in this. Let's uh, speed on through. Again, he's kind of having the uh, same problem I had and suffering uh, a lot of friendly fire damage, I'm sure. That was over quickly. Our undefended province of Juek. Where the heck was that? Oh, yeah. I did not leave any uh, province defense there. Now, there was a battle in Midgard. TNG is attacking Midgard in Midgard. Oh, yeah. I have no doubt that I annihilated them here. Oh yeah. They are probably going to run fairly quickly. Uh, they do have good morale though. Uh, may take a uh, few hits before they uh, sustain enough damage to take off running. Although they may very well take off running after that right there. Well, half of them have. This half will take off running in short order as well. They're probably running after this right here. No. They're a little braver than I gave them credit for. And they have a, uh, a Bane as well. That's one of the uh, instances where it can prove somewhat useful to have a million priests. Uh, not that I'm terribly scared of that little bane, but uh, <laughs> Gun is casting dust to dust, but he missed. 
This guy's a. Oh. I wasn't aware that ancestor vessels went berserk. Or perhaps uh, somebody cast a spell that made them go berserk. If my. Uh, I believe my spirit master might be casting uh, a spell to make them berserk, which I do not like at all. Uh. Casting spells to make ranged units berserk is not good at all. If, uh, if that's the case, I will not be keeping any uh, one with uh, nature magic in my army there. Anyways, I believe that's about it for this video. As you can see, we've gone ahead and at least laid siege to the fort at Midgard. Um, we will... Uh, pick this up with the next video shortly. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.